I'm the more technical guy Aha. in the band, so I know how everything works. Yeah. Yeah. So you have like you have the roles, like you, yeah, yeah. You, you are the the technical. I'm the technic technician. Yeah. And what's Dave's role then? Dave's the artistic direction. Yeah. Yeah. And is it always like that when you work when in, in the studio and? Uh, um, yeah, you're... almost. Yeah, I mean in the studio also. Uh, I do most of the technical work, you know, the synthesizers, you know, mm. um, all the sounds, um, the sampling, everything that's technical, mm. I do it. And he does, you know, mo the stuff like writing lyrics, melodies, mm. um, singing. Mm. And, and he's he's like, I, look, uh, P, I can't get my eye to work exactly. so, so many like, ask, I can't get my phone to work can you help me and I'm like yeah you know we ha we each have this is you know how it works uh, this is what makes it work well you know we each have our roles and we don't interfere and we can just work you know hmm. very quickly and efficiently does it ever happen that you change the roles that you are going more in the artistic side and he goes well, into we the both you know we both do every you know, a little bit of each other's work, but uh, generally that's how, that's our roles. I mean, he does do some little stuff, you know. He does use some of the machines and he knows a little bit, but, you know, most of the stuff is done. It's like, let's say 80-20%. 80% me, 20% him. How, how did you meet? And, when, uh, and uh, you know, the singing and the lyrics and the uh, the artistic um, direction, like, you know, um, the record covers, the, the art that goes around it is like 80% him and 20% me. How did you meet from, from, from a very uh, We beginning? met in high school. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had formed the band when I was like 15 years old. Yeah. And um, I had a drummer and we like, we were looking for other musicians to for, form the band and he was in our school in our high school so we he joined the band yeah. what was it that you what was the, the like the, the reason why you came together uh well we you know we it was a small school not much musicians and uh we started playing together and we just instantly clicked you know like musically so Did you have the same like references and yeah yeah preferences? Well, like you know we studied music together we we listened to records to th together we we discover you know records together since the, the age of fifteen you know what kind of records you know old records you know funk soul um, a lot of different stuff you know we dis discovered a lot of music together so like, we we complete each other you know it's very like some albums that are the chromio uh, like the, the roots of chromio um pretty much anything by prince um rick james you know parliament uh roger troutman mm. uh, robert palmer mm. you know a lot of rock and roll too like led zeppelin and you know they've grew up listening to rock and roll like Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix mm. and practicing guitar over this so you know we also have a lot of rock and roll background it explains a lot when you yeah. refer to the music yeah. so now we're gonna have a, an exclusive view on the uh, well uh, a stage uh, yeah. view on things plugged but I can show you around yeah. so this is my bass mm -hmm. I play the bass this is Dave's guitar um, important part, the percussion rig. Yeah. We both play on this, yeah. play percussions. Uh, this is one of my synthesizers. This is the pedal uh, board for the guitar. Wow, that's it. Yeah. And this is my talk box setup. Ah, it's, it's the... That's the magic, that's the magic behind the Chromio show. Okay. I'm not opening everything, so you have a surprise for tonight. Uh -huh. So here, Roger Troutman, he's, he's buried yeah, this here. This is the Roger Troutman setup, yeah. right here. The tube usually comes here, yeah. you know. This is the same exact keyboard that Roger Troutman had. Are oh, you kidding? Yeah. 
didn't they have one of those? Uh, yeah, yeah, the hose goes here. You want me to show you? Yeah, show you? of course I want to show you. As man, I'm going all in in Roger Troutman's phone up with code. The magic behind Chromio. This is the tube. Da 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 So the tube goes here. Yeah. Up. And there you go. Also, this is there for them to listen to the song. When they plug tonight, I'll give you a demo. Yeah. If you guys are filming, yeah. I can't now because we finished soundcheck and nothing's plugged. And uh, I'll show you another part. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, David. Thank you very much, David. <laughs> yep. Det är lite knöligt att komma förbi här, men... That must be... A, I mean, having that gear... Like... The, And here we are. This is the synthesizer part. Yeah. Um, I use a Swedish keyboard, which is the Nord Modular G2X. Huh? How did you find out about that? We are very, we are very honored. Guys, <laughs> I like this keyboard. Yeah. Huh? Get me one. What? What? Uh, wh- it's why? A Nord. It's a Swedish company. Yeah. Why? Why is it good? Do you think? Um, it's great. It's like. Um, It's like a um, digital version of analog synthesizers, you know, very old analog synthesizers, and they just recreated everything on um, that's you know computer controlled and and that you can put in you know they put it in this nice box and you can do a lot of stuff with this. Yeah. yeah. Most of the old 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 school sounds and stuff. Yeah. 